Hi guys! Welcome to my friggin' channel. I'm Alicia. My channel is Alicia Animated. And, oh god, I've been wanting to make a YouTube channel for five years. This is not about to be an introduction because I don't want to do no intro. We're gonna just jump right in, okay? We're just jumping right in. But I just, quick backstory, been wanting to do YouTube for five years. And I finally stopped making excuses. I'm getting tired. Well, I'm not actually getting tired, but people always asking me, you know, you should start a YouTube channel. Why don't you help? And I'm like, uh, 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 you know, global warming and, you know, I'm starting the channel. I'm excited. And this is the makeup look I'm showing you. This is my go-to makeup look when I'm going out. So, if I don't want to put in too much thought into how much, like how I want to do my makeup, okay, what colors I want to combine today, especially if I'm on the time crunch, this is the makeup look I go for because I know how to do it. It's quick. I know the com color combinations that I want to use. And usually people in my life, like my close loved ones, family, friends, they'll ask me, hey, how did you do this? How did you do that? What a perfect excuse to use this to show them and everybody else. So I recorded it. So this is the look, and so you can either do this look with, you know, a nude lip, or you can do something more bold, which I show in this video. It's a bold red burgundy lip, which is perfect for fall. So if you want to see how to get this look, if you're feeling this, are you feeling this? Do you like this? You better like this. If you're feeling this, <laughs> and you want to watch my silly self, then just keep watching this video. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's get started. I'm so excited. Let me calm down. Okay, so first I'm going to moisturize my lip. Okay, and I need to get my hair out of the way. So let's just go ahead and pin you here. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with doing my brows. See, I'm keeping it real here. I didn't groom them before I turned the camera on. Keeping it real. Now I contemplated, contemplated skipping this part because of how long brows take, but I usually do have some friends ask me how I do my brows and some loved ones. So I'm like, okay, hey, let me show you how I do my brows. So I'm just getting them out of the way, and the two products I'm going to use is Annabelle's Skinny Liner and Universal Dark, I believe. Universal Dark, and then Rimmel's Dark Brown. Now, I would hold it up right to the camera, but because my camera's not going to focus into it, we're not going to do that. My camera's brewed, so it's not going to focus. Well, and it's all up, so... So first I have to start by outlining the brow first, by going under the brow first, and then I do the top. I'm going to mess up a little bit, I cuss in my head, and I keep going. Are we decent? Are we decent? So there we go, I have the brows filled out, well, outlined, and then I'm going to use my remote pencil, and I'm going to fill them in. Thicker, that's okay. Possibly correct this when I'm doing my concealer, and if not, that's life. Okay, now I like to use this little knick-knack here. I got this when I was like 16 years old. You know those random old brushes you have that they just, they ride or die and they are shedding? Yeah, so this is what I like to do, or use, also when I'm doing my brows. And that's just to uh, smoothen it out. Okay, so to clean it up, I like to use some concealer, and I feel like this works well if you want your eyebrows to look extra laid. Or if you need your eyebrows on like I do, and you want to clean up with some concealer. So what I'm going to use is the Fit Me Concealer in Cafe by Maybelline. And we're going to carve these brows. I know some people don't like to do the top. They just do the bottom, but I like to do the top and bottom. Because I'm extra. that line out Now 
Now what I like to do is use a pencil brush and blend it out some more because <laughs> where are we going with this? I don't know if you can see this properly, but <clears throat> and I don't know if you guys want me to tell you the names of my brushes or not, but um, the brushes that have the pink brush the brushes that have the pink bristles are Sedona Lace brushes and this is a 904, but yeah, pencil brush. And because I see that this is not the lining up the way I want it to, I'm going to use a different brush. I don't know the number or name of this one. These are one of my old, oldie but goodies. This is a brush from a kit I got from Coastal Scent in 2011. These are some senior brushes. And this brow looks a little bit higher. This is what I mean when I say brows take. It's like a ceremony. When you're doing your brows, I feel like it's like a ceremony. Color of correcting, going back, blah blah blah. You might need to take a break to cry. <laughs> and ask God why your brows aren't even. to do is, <clears throat> if I feel like it's looking too boxy here, then I'll take my broken, what is this called, I even remember, was it eyeliner, or eyeliner, uh, eyelash comb, and just brush out the brows, because I don't like that boxy look, I don't want to scare humans when I'm in public. Okay, and we're done. So next, I'm going to prime. I'm going to use Benefits Professional. Look how small and cute this is. Isn't it so cute? I need another one. But I'm going to use Benefits Professional underneath my eyes and around my cheeks. I should probably say this now. I don't wear foundation. I just don't like the thought of having something all over my face because I just feel like it would be uncomfortable. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks absolutely amazing when I see other people wearing it, males and females, but it's just not my thing, you know? Everyone has their thing. It's not my thing. I wear concealer, though. Be careful when you're dealing with underneath your eye, because you don't want to tear out underneath your eye, and you don't want to give yourself wrinkles prematurely. Okay? Now, from my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to use Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I'm just going to put that on there. And I like to do my eyeshadow first because if anything falls down, I feel like it's if anything if I get any fallout, I feel like it's easier to clean when I'm doing my under eye concealer. So I'm just putting this all over my eyelid, and I think I use too much, but that's okay. Prime. Now for the eyes, I'm going to start off with the crease. Now, okay, this is story. Okay, let me calm down. I'm getting excited. This color, I don't remember the name, but I'm going to put it in the description box. This is a Makeup Forever shadow. Now, this is a dupe for Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar. Color, peanut butter. I don't know if you can see that properly on camera, but this is dug out, okay? I am... Okay, let me calm down. This color, oh, it's my favorite for the crease. Absolute favorite. And I found a dupe for that. So this is one of my staples that I use for my regular daily looks. I, I always, I always tend to go for this. I love it. It's just so beautiful. Oh, I just, uh, it's giving me oxygen. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever shadow and just put that right in my crease here. Again, this is a Sedona Lace brush, 863. Yes, I'm using a lot, because this color, again, is that oxygen, right? Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. 
awesome. Next, I'm going to go into my Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. And I'm going to take up the brush so it doesn't fall down. I'm going to go in the crease with the color Tees just so that I can have more than one shadow in the eye. I don't want it to just be one color and be so flat and bland. So I'm applying it right over the crease, um, right on top of, I was about to call it the peanut butter shadow, Ugh. on top of the Makeup Forever shadow, concentrating on the outer corner here and just bring it over a little bit. The whole purpose is just to give some more depth to the eye. Blend and blend and blend and effing blend. And at the end, if I feel like I need some more warmth, I'll go back in with the Makeup Forever shadow and apply it there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm taking my 407 brush from Sedona Lace and I'm going to go in with Foxy which you can see it's hit pan because this color is just beautiful. I love using it, using it on my brow bone. And I'm just going to apply that right there. I don't like going all the way over. Depends on the look I'm doing. And I'm actually going to be leaving this to bake so that it's as bright as possible at the end. Now, for the lid color, which is one of my staples that I like to use depending on where I'm going. Now this is Get Lucky by Colourpop Cosmetics Super Shock Shadow. I really, really like their formula. I don't know how to explain the shadow. It's like it has bounce when you touch it. It's not... It's not a gel shadow, but it's, it has moisture in it, you know? Anyway, so I'm going to load my brush with this, and I'm using a 954 brush. This is a paddle brush, and I'm just going to put it right on my lid. done. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my waterline here because it makes, it helps to make your eyelashes look thicker and darker. And that's something that I learned from Wayne Goss. God bless him. So I'm going to give you a really awkward shot that might be uncomfortable. And I'm just going to line the waterline here. And pray to God that I'm not giving myself wrinkles right now. I don't have time for that. I'll accept wrinkles when I'm 90. God okay, away. so next I'm going to do my concealer. And I'm going to use two different concealers. I'm going to use the same Maybelline Fit Me and Cafe. And I'm going to use Max Pro Longwear Concealer and NC45. So first I'm going to go in with the NC45. On my ring finger and just apply it right there and make some very awkward faces. What's a YouTube video with awkward faces, right? Right under the eye. And then I'm going to use the cafe. The reason I'm using this is not so much because of the difference in the color, but because it's easy to apply on my face. Just going down here, lightly here, forward area. And then I'm going to blend this in with 727 brush from Sedona Lace. This is a foundation brush. I'm going to blend this out here. I like to dab this first 
and then I try not to pull too much in the eye area because again your under eye area the skin is very sensitive so you should be careful when you're working with that area <laughs> okay now we're gonna take our beauty blender and this is wet now look at this it's mangled okay I was going to throw this out what happened is I dropped it into wax and then I thought about it I'm like you know what I can't I can't I can't throw out a beauty blender because these so I just cut, cut it off and I know it looks like an animal ate it but no it's just it was from wax I need more and I'm just going to blend out the concealer dab 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 I'm supposed to break, in out, break out into song. Typical. Very typical of me. I'm actually surprised I haven't started singing yet. And then the under eye area. And again, if it looks like I'm like on my face, I'm not. I'm using leg pressure. Okay, done. Now I'm going to set the under eye. I'm going to use Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Um, translucent powder. Now this, I've noticed that when I take photos, I see flashback, and I don't know if it's because my hand is too heavy with it, but I just know the flashback, it's not cute. So I am trying to dab with some setting powders, preferably ones that don't have parabens in it, but I am trying to dab with different powders. I used to use the Ben Eye um, banana powder, but it just has like, what, four or five different parabens, and it just makes me a little uncomfortable. I know sometimes it's hard to get away from them completely but I'm trying you know so I'm gonna go in with some of that and I'm using the 850 brush by Sedona Lace just dabbing that in here I'm trying to use a lighter hand right now and hope that it won't leave it won't cause flashback so now for the most second most tense step First is brows. Second is cat. Cat eye. Your wing. Your wing liner. I'm going in with my favorite friggin' eyeliner, which is Kat Von D's tattoo liner, and I believe this is in Trooper. Yes, Trooper. And I'm going to do my wing. And I'm going to hold my breath and pray to God that this comes out even because, again, this is another ceremony. I was going to start out with the outer, the outer the corner, outer edge of my eye. I try to keep the liner on the thinner side, at least for this look. Right eye complete. Okay. And then I say a silent prayer in my head and I go in and do the other eye. And I glare at myself a bit in hopes that it will cooperate. Oh my god, are they even? Are they even? Are they even? Are they even? Oh god, if they're not even, I'm gonna just like cry. Just pause the video and cry. Like 10 or 11 minutes, I don't know. Are they even? Oh, there you are. So that's the liner. And if I do notice anything that looks like it's an easy fix, then I'll just go back in with that same brush that I used to carve out my brows. I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but this is a, a Coastal Suns brush, just an angled, an angled liner brush. I like to use these to carve out the, br carve out the brows and to 
try to touch up the liner. So they look pretty even. Okay. Next, I'm just going to brush away that powder that I applied to my face. So next, I'm going to take the ColourPop Shadow and I'm going with another Coastal Sense brush. I don't know what kind of brush this is, but he's really helpful. He's very helpful. And I'm just going to take some of the color, the pigment, and I'm going to put it on my waterline. Now I'm actually going to go in with the color put in from Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar pa Palette and I'm going to put this color in the outer corner of my eye on the bottom lid to do my inner corner and I'm going to use Booty Call in the Naked, in the Naked 2 Palette and that is this color right here and I'm going to use a little gem brush to apply that Just pop you right in here. I love highlighting my inner corner. I do. I swear, now that I'm recording it, it's like I have to question myself and say, am I forgetting a step? Am I getting ahead of myself? Who am I? Just so many questions, you know? Okay, now we can do our mascara. So I'm going to go in with the Push Up Drama, and I believe this color is Blackest Black. Again, it'll be in the description box below. And I like to wiggle before I apply. When complete, I'm gonna go with L'Oreal's Miss Manga Lash. Again, the color it's probably black, is black, black, whatever is the darkest one available. It'll be in the description box. And apply this. I like this mascara because I feel like it makes my lashes super thick. Next, I'm going to go in with Max Zoom Fast Black Lash. <coughs> I believe this is, it doesn't come in a color, this is just like one of the deluxe samples. I like getting these because I just, it's so dark and I just feel like it helps add to the thickness. Once I've done one of my Max sprees and they say, hey, want a free sample? I'm like, yeah, give me a mascara, please. So I can add 10 more coats to what I usually do. And finally, I like to go in with my favorite, again, let me calm down, my favorite mascara, which is by Rimmel, the Lash Accelerator, and this is in Extreme Black. This is my favorite, favorite friggin' mascara to use to finish it off. I just feel like my mascara is incomplete if I haven't used this. Like, my face isn't done. If I haven't used this, my face is not complete. My makeup isn't done. That's, that's just it. That's it. Now I'm going to go in with the Lash Accelerator and I'm just going to apply the mascara to my bottom lashes. All done! Next we're going to go in with some blush. I'm going to use my Tarte Palette. This is a Christmas collection. I believe this is from 2014. The Pinup Girl in Peachy. I'm going to go in with this color and it's called Bashful with my crusty looking stippling brush this is from Coastal Scents and I'm going to go in with Bashful apples of the cheek And 
And I'm going to highlight to use Max Gold Deposit, which is just, I, I have no words. And I'm going to use Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics, made by Jaclyn Hill. Friggin' love that girl. And I'm going to go into the fan brush, Coastal Scents. to bring it along the side as well too of my temple and because occasionally I like to blind people now we're going to go on with champagne pop And this is so pigmented, so I only literally need to just tap it once, and then I'm, I'm good. And because I feel like it looks extra frosty on me, I don't want to put too much. <laughs> Wait, is there such thing? And I'll go up tip of the nose lightly. lightly as I vigorously add the highlight on my nose and then above the lip I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to go with gold deposit I feel like it brings attention to the lip it looks really nice now for this look that I do there's two different options you can either just do in more of a nude look or you can do a bold berry lip so if well depending on where I'm going in my mood then I might do the nude look which I'll show first I'll show the two different looks. So I'm going to go in with two different MAC lipsticks. I'm going to use Stone and I'm going to use Blankety. So to be honest, if I'm in the mood, I'll line my lips with the Stone lip liner. I don't feel like it right now. So I'm just going to go in with Stone. And then with Blankety, I'm going to apply it in the middle of my lip. In the center. Random clear, well, what's supposed to be a clear gloss, but because these are lipsticks, it's been tainted. But this is just a Rimmel lip gloss, a clear lip gloss, and Indonesia finishing spray, but I ran out. So instead, I'm going to use my toner, which is Andalu Naturals. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that properly. And to the naturals, it's a floral toner. It smells so good. And we're going to be resourceful here. We're just gonna use our toner because it can use it can be used as a finishing spray as well. So, mm, yes, yes, God, yes, Whew, yes, Lord. Whew. And then this is the look. Well, not with the clip in. This, this would be the look. This is the look that I tend to go for. We're gonna go somewhere random and I wanna get a nice little beat going on. Then this is my go to. If you want to wear this type of look with more of a bold lip color, then you can use a berry or whatever the hell you want to use. There's no rules, it's makeup. I'm gonna moisturize my lips. Because they need it. And with this, there I always line my lips with liner before I go in with a bold color. I'm going to use Max Night Moth. This is my favorite friggin lip pencil ever. Do you line any on your lips? It helps the lipstick last longer so. Like to fill it in a bit. And then I'm going to go in with Max Runner. I apologize. This is a limited edition color. So I, I don't believe they have it available anymore. But it's just it's so beautiful. I have to use it. But again, you can use whatever color you want. Diva might be comparable to Runner. Or Sin. Max Sin. Or any other color you have. It doesn't have to be Mac. I'm just a Mac Ho. That's all. I'm a Mac Core. And I always have to start off with this is called your, your cupid's bow. Now let's start off with this area of the lip first. Now we 
could be done there, but because I'm extra, I need a little bit of a highlight, right? So, gold deposit on my finger. I was about to tap it like it's a, like a friggin' brush. And just right on the cupid's bow. And it might be a little bit too much right now. It looks like it's too much, but it could be because there's lights beaming on my face. And that's that. So this is a bold lip that you can do with this type of look if you don't want to just do something nude and you don't want to just be, you know, subtle. You want to be like, hi, I'm here. Hello, look at my Okay lips. guys, and that's it. That's it for this makeup look. Let me know what you thought. Did you do you like this? Do you like this? Let me know in the comment section below. Like this video if you like it. Please subscribe. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see next, let me know. If you have any suggestions, I want to hear them. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm excited to start filming these videos now, finally. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Any constructive feedback? Lighting? Camera? Sound? Music? What are your thoughts? I want to know everything. Let me know. Bye, guys.